Hello, today I'm going to be making a guide for chips and neuron modules and what they do, how to utilize it, what is the, the mechanism behind neuron, neuron modules and chipsets. And um, I'm going to go over the entirety of it. So this will just be one guide only. And I think this will be, I will, I will not be making another video like this. So everything is going to be in this one video. What are chips and what is the purpose of chips? So if we go to pilots, we're going to find out what chips are or what they do. So if we go to these things called the crystal neurons, there's four of these. So here's another one. This is the third one and this will be the fourth one. So as you notice that when you click on these neuron or these crystal neurons, they have this thing that has one CP. So these one CPs mean chip points. But how do you get chip points? Well, you got to get chips. And the way you get chips is through this thing called simulated battles. If you go to algorithms, you can spend some energy to get three runs a day to get these chips. Now, these give you chips varying from different levels, which is one CP chips, two CP chips, or three CP chips. As I said before, CP mean, means chip points. So because they mean chip points, it means that for this module only, as you can see the design, which is sector A, so the sector A module inside of a pilot, uh, you can farm these sector A chips three times a day for 10 energy and they will vary from 1 CP, 2 CP, and 3 CP. You can get them, uh, I think, in blue and legendary status, which is like a very gold status, which would be like just overall better stats for the chip, but I'll go over that in a bit. So you might be wondering, why is there three different colors? Well, there's three different colors because there's three different slots and each one does something different. So if we go to, if we go all the way back to the character where we equip the CP chips or the chips is in these neural drives. As you can see, this is the neuron, the, the crystal neurons that you saw prior in the pilot skills. As you can see, there's four of them. And these are the chips. These three things are chips and they're color coded. They're red, I think. I'm colorblind, so I wouldn't be able to know. I'm going to go off what I think they are. I think this is red, this is yellow, and this is blue. And as you can see, there's a number coded with the design of the module. And then there's a cult, there's a number. As you can see, design and a number. So these numbers are the chip points we're talking about. So if we count them, there's four chip points. So we know that we have four chip points on sector A's module, which is this module. As you can see, it says that if we click on the module, it sees that we do have four chip points because the level two is activated, which means after destroying a part, triggers a reattack and AP regen. Now to really verify this is to go to the bionics and look at the, the A sector chip or the neuron module and as you can see, at 1 CP and 4 CP, it does exactly that. So at 7 CP, you get initial AP plus 1. But in order to increase overall size of these neuron modules, you have to unlock these things called the CP cap. And as you can see, there is a design for them. So this would be your sector A. So it increases your sector A's CP cap by 3. You have crystal neuron or module. I think this is module. Yeah, module 3's symbol right here. So you can increase by 3. This is sector. Uh, this is module 2. Mo uh, CP increase. As you can see, there are the design of the module and the CP increase. 
So, as, like, early game, you're not going to have access to more than 4 points. So, however, if you want to get the bonuses for these things early on, make sure you are able to put 4 CP. So you can get the extra bonuses for each module that you unlock. So, these would be the modules right here. There's another module, and they all come with different abilities. And then there's more. And these are some of these grant actually bonuses that are really massive, so it's very wise to put in these uh, these CP points. But these chips also grant bonuses. For example, they give you range, and then the extra effect, which is assault weapon, grants assault crit plus crit plus 19. If you go to the, I think if you go to global effect, it shows up here. So your chip bonuses will show up here as you can see the range crit is 157 and partial of the reason why it's 157 is due to the extra effect so these these golden ones or actually all of these come with a base stat and then an extra effect stat that go to this global effect stat which is all of your stats combined onto the character Or to have access to these um, algorithms is what we're going to call them you have to actually play the simulated battles the more simulated battles you play you and every single time you pass the final stage you get these can craft sector ycp chips with a high quality highest quality of s and that is how you increase so this is sector y i believe so in order to create sector Y chips, you have to pass 5. For me, I would have to pass this. So the more you progress in simulated battles, the more access of chips you will get. As you can see that I have access to sector B chips, but only up to 2 chip points. So again, progress in simulated battles to unlock more access to more mod more chip modules or chips for your modules and the more you go into simulated battles you'll un start to unlock the three cp chips but early on you only want to unlock really the the one cp and if you can the two cp three cp doesn't really matter because you won't really get you won't really need that until you reach like end game and the best way to show you that is do the bionics because as you can see all modules start at four the cap is four for each module as you unlock them and the only way to increase them is by getting these nodes but these nodes you will not be able to unlock until you get to five six in the bionic simulation and they actually go go even higher so you really won't be able, you won't have access to that early on and this is like great end game but always make sure you're able to put at least one two chip point chip in one slot and then the other two you can just put one but just make sure you always have chips in each slot as you can see i have three and one here which gives me four and for here i have three and one which also gives me four as you can see four is active so that is how you get chip points um there is no other way to increase the nodes or the module nodes because it is linked to the bionic computer which is your skill sets which you can only increase uh, via these things right here the cp caps so they only increase through skill selection and that's the only way to increase it there is no drop rate that increases these neuron these neuron modules to increase the cap so keep in mind once you unlock it, the cap is four. Unless you, unless you select the CP cap upgrade for the corresponding module, and then, as you can, as you already know, each ship has a number corresponding to how much chip point each ship has, and they all vary in different stats that you can equip. Remember yellow or gold can or yellow can only go in yellow slots red can only go in red slots and blue can only go in blue slots as you can see same thing here
and also here as well. So do keep in mind that the only chips you can put into each one means that there has to be, these chips have to have the corresponding symbol and a number next to it in order to equip it. As you can see, corresponding module symbol with the corresponding module chip symbol right here. And I think that will be it for this. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and peace.